everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. That thing's rather challenging. So let's get on. I would like to do let's have a look at this thing got my hand. Not in my hand yet, but let's just put it in my hand. The workbench from uh, fact, uh forestry. Quite a nice little device actually. I don't I haven't used it very often. But I found a use for it today. So let's just put it down here. It remembers recipes, which is quite nice. So um I want to show you this one. Let's take six pieces of granite. Right click on here and have a look at the uses of that one. So we can make where is it now? I think next page. Some chimneys. And we can make certainly not eight chimneys. That's a bit that's actually wrong, isn't it? So let's just remove that one. Clear that off. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? This time we get eight of them. Six of these makes eight stone chimneys, but you can also take it to granite chimneys if you want to. So we can then make the granite chimneys, which is then get stored in the recipes. Let me select that one. So that was a way of to select. Oh, don't ask me what happened there. <laughs> so how you can choose a recipe when you've got multiple, multiple, um, multiple recipes doing the same different things, or well, the same recipe doing multiple things. I think it's right. I'd say, isn't it? Right. Today I wanted to put down these blocks. I went spent ages. I mined up some more limonite, got lots of bits and pieces. So here we have which one are we looking at here? The solar tower. So this needs I think it was yeah, it's four machine blocks and nineteen iron grates. Let's go and get those into hand here. I think this is the one. Hopefully it's that one. Or maybe we've got, got the wrong way around in it. Now let's have a look. Oh, maybe this is the one actually. Let's put this down in here. So what does it want here? That says it wants a corrugated iron machine. Oh, I think I've got the wrong ones. Ho, ho. It wouldn't surprise me, would it? We need a corrugated iron machine, and I've been making iron grate machines. I think that was wrong. It's corrugated. Okay, lots of iron plates. Fortunately, we've got lots of iron. So I'll make a few iron plates. I'll be making lots of iron plates too, as it happens, but I'm not sure I'm going to have enough for that one. I've got eight. That makes one. I mean, I I must have misread that completely. Let's have a look at that again. Because I don't remember it saying that on that one. Machines. So, generators. We need the solar power. So, we need. We've got the blueprint. 60 machine blocks. 7 corrugated iron machine frame blocks. Oh, okay. So, 7. So, we've got one of that. So, we need 6, 8, so 48 iron. And we have to hammer that away. What have we got in 106? So, I've been busy hammering away. Let's put that onto there and start hammering away. So you don't have to see me doing this. I shall come back in a few seconds when I've finished. Well, I've made those and I shouldn't. I should have also checked the tower as well. So, iron machine grates, corrugated iron machine frames. They're right, a bit more expensive, but I don't think it matters very much. First of all, it's going to be free electricity or free power and it's going to be infinite. So, we need solar mirrors. Now what does that... Yes, those are the 19 inch. I didn't get it too badly wrong. Four machine blocks, few. At least enough to... Cons didn't waste too much. Anyway, we should be able to finish this one off. I'm just wondering, worried if I've got this too close to each other. I don't think I have. But as you can see... So there must be one down here like that. And I'm not sure how the rest of them go. What's it say? Corrugated. Can't read it, it's too close. Let's move a bit further away. Air fan. 301, 66 and 5, 357. So what's 66? Oh, you can see the different one there. Where are the others then? That's only two. Oh! Well, that made it. 
Okay, that's the sol that's the solar mirror. That's correct. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So what have we got here then? Now this should be the solar tower. Probably got a bit too much grass on the list. Let's remove some of this grass here. Let's just take the shears because we can always use the grass later on. If I've got them with me, which I haven't, they'll be in the backpack. So I just have to break those. What time of day is it? Oh, it's bedtime. <laughs> and what's it was bedtime? Let's do sleep. 10.30 on that clock tells me when it's bedtime. It says sunset, but it's not really, is it? It's like night time. So let's break away these. And it's, oh, that's, that's better. I can see it that much better right now, can't we? So, what have we got here? This must be expected a machine block. I think this is a machine block down here. We should have 16 of those in this machine, so that must be one. And I think this is also one. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to see. That's definitely one. And what have we got here? I think that's one, and that's one, and that's one, and that's one. Good. Now, stand back a bit. Now, is that for that one? Yes, it looks like it is, doesn't it? And, where are the couple of cores? Oh, I see they go on top of each other. So let's put the two copper cores down here. Wrong one. Let's just pick it up. Okay. So these are these. Well, these machine blocks. So these are these corrugated ones, aren't they? This must be a machine block I'm standing on here. I don't think I've got enough. That must be that one, and that must be that one, and that must be those two. Yes. And then we've got two of those. One of that. So we need three more of these. Okay, that's not, not so much of a big deal. That's 24 iron plates. I think there's a machine for making iron plates. Alright, we've got two. So we just need another eight iron. Now if I remember, or remember, remember correctly, I just keep hitting. Even though I didn't put it down, it remembers the last one you, you've been doing on this. But I've been having a few problems with Aquamundo just recently. What's been happening with Aquamundo? Let's use this one. So I've got the pattern for this one here. Let's just clear that off and make a pattern for this. Because I've been using a lot of hammers, obviously. So we can take one of those out, and that'll give us our three of those. And of course, that, I moved this into here. I thought it was a good place for it. And you wonder, even when I finish this, I'm not finished. Let's go up. Can I put it down like that? No, I can't. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, I have to do it like that. You can't actually do it on that block itself. Now, where's the other one go? There should be one in the corner. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, I can reach, good. That should be it. And there we have it, one solar tower. Now, we're not finished with this thing. Now, there's a button on this, I believe. That one. And that orientates the, the panels, the mirrors, onto this and the mirrors can be quite a long way away i think about 28 blocks so you see now the temperature is going up so what we now need to do for this thing is we need to give it water um i might as well i think we'll do just, yes we'll just run pipes i think because we can run pipes into here from the, so we can remove this so let's make some more iron pipes we also need to make another steam generator I don't have any iron pipes in the oh, so i've got nine I don't know whether I have to use the thermal pipes, but I think iron pipes are good. We also need to make one more infinite water supply. 
and that's just I think it was four buckets wasn't it because I've forgotten what I was looking up here I was wanting to make one of these but I've got to do it eyes of ender I've got two ender eyes but no um, I could even do this one as well actually an absorption hopper but again that's a, a I need a blaze powder I need blaze powders definitely I'm a bit stuck without blaze powders at the moment so right let's get rid of these chimneys by the way don't need those for me So, what we need is that water thing. Let's have a look. What have I got to block? I put magnet, magnetic block, and that was the one for getting all the block recipes out. I think that was a good, good search. So what we now need is the water. It's a water generator, isn't it? And that's that block. Oh, so just one bucket of water, four iron plates, and four glass. Okay, four iron plates. Take the hammer. Now, buckets of water shouldn't be a big deal. I've got buckets here and glass. Let's have a look. Where have we got our glass? Have we got some glass left over from the last time? I don't see any in there. I don't see any in there. Nah. Oh, there might have been some in this chest up here, mightn't there? So we four of those. And again, if you don't remember, that was a control click. Holding down the bu control button. So we just need a bucket of water, which I forgot to pick up when I was there. That's no big deal, we've got plenty of water. The advantage of using the four, this one, is my way you hit it. You, you don't take away the, the infinite water source. Right. So now like that. Now, I've oh, got the bucket back, good. We have to go underneath this machine to have a look at and what's going on underneath the generator. So I'm going to go down this way because this is where I'm going to run the pipes. Should have a maybe I have to put the water source somewhere else. Let's have a look. Does that fill it up with water? Heat. Oh it might work differently this one. It might use the might not need the water generator, it might just need heat pipes. Okay, that is definitely not the same as in the book. So in that case, we're running into this. We're, st we're basically running steam straight into this thing. So let's put the water generator down here. So we need more of these pipes, insulated pipes. I'm going to leave this bit here for the time being. And I'm not sure how many we need. I'm a bit far away, really. But we'll, we'll see. So if we need one, we'll need one, two to come down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 15, we'll do it through three sets because they come in sets of five. So, so what was the recipe for that one? So I was looking for insulated. I should be able to see it on that one. There we go, this one. So we need bricks. So we need 12 bricks. We need lots of bricks in this pack, don't we? One light copper plate, so we're going to need three of those and some iron ingots. How many have we got here? Six. That was convenient. Didn't expect to see that. And my iron's gone right down again. <laughs> it's gone right down. Fortunately, I found six limonite just there, 143 blocks away, and another four over that direction, 144. I think there's another six there as well. That's a lot of iron, by the way. Um, so now we should be able to craft these together. Bricks, I think I have somewhere. I 
I need the bricks anyway. In fact, you know what? I think I've done with the bricks. I think they're in the. Oh, look. See, I've got some hard iron. I went back to the nether and got some more hard iron. I got 14 seven blocks before I got attacked by a ghast. That's why I want to get on and do something else. But I've got plenty of bricks in here. Look, let's take this lot with this. I was using that to cook bricks. It's quite a nice little furnace, that one, you know. I'm quite impressed. So, we need this one. Three sets. Perfect 15. That should do the trick. Actually, it makes more sense in this one because the video I saw about uh, magnetic craft was slightly different. It was using water, it was actually sending steam out of here. I think the book says it sends steam out, but to be honest with you, I think this is actually better. We don't have to cover, we don't have to have it on the ground either, so let's keep going. Let's dig this all up. Hopefully we've got enough to do this. And the heat doesn't matter. Does it have to heat come in the top? No, it doesn't matter where the heat comes from actually. Let's keep putting these in. Let's do it this way. See it connects, so that's a good sign. Is it night time again? Oh it is indeed. Yep. I'll sleep here. Before any mobs come. There actually is some skeletons over there. I think I'll keep my head down. I haven't got any more arrows. Six blocks. Always satisfying when you can count. So I think... Where are the skeletons? Over there somewhere. They may be in that area. So we can put some dirt down here as well, of course. Let's put the dirt down here. It'll turn into grass blocks. I can't quite see. Oh, I think that's fine. Let's just check whether that's actually working. Before I actually do all of this, of course. So the heat should be there. It should be coming out steady. A bit of a gym time, a quick look around as well. That's going to be a challenge, I think. Do I have to orientate to this again, or is it already or is it working? Have we got no sunshine? Well, the sun's over there, look. Okay, so that should be reflecting that on there. What I could do is move this back a bit, it might be too near. We could always make some more of these, in fact. But I didn't hear any of these. Iron great machines like it sort of did. Ah, I'm sure this is how it works. Let's. It doesn't seem to be generating enough steam. What's it tell us about it? 41 degrees. Maybe I need more of these mirrors to get that to work. I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't do that now. I'll do that in my own time, and hopefully then we get enough of these, and it'll generate a steam for us with that. Having to requ having to require these things. In fact, I can remove this one, of course, and cover up this, and everything's covered up. We'll grow, we'll grow grass again, which is good. So that's the principle. That's all. So next time we'll come back and have a look, see if it's working. So that's one bit done. Now, what else can we do in this one? I want to get some stuff done, don't I? Basically, I want some brick blocks, and I want half of those. Let's just do like that. I've got lots of obsidian. But I think I moved the obsidian over here now. So I want four of those. Do you know what I'm doing? I am going to do, I think... Ah, oh, a bit too much stuff on me. Let's get rid of that one don't need this table to get rid of that one. This aquamunda tank I wanted to keep when they did drag some lava over. A block of coal, well, I'll 
put that in here so we can use that in for that other machine. But let's move that down over here like this. I'll put it in here, but we'll put it in this just for the time being. That's the problem yeah, recipe, wasn't it? I made that one as well. So next thing, I don't think they lose. I don't think they lose heat. By the way, let's get rid of these bricks. I've got a space of bricks I can use. Oh, yes, I suppose we could put them in here, couldn't we? Let's see for the tamping. Right, that frees up some space. I need to have a quick drink by the looks of it. Good. I probably need to eat. Right, okay, so what I want to do... Where's it gone to? I want to make a... From, I don't remember it now. From the armory mod, so let's have a look at that. And I want res and I want resistance, don't I? Of course, I just can't spell it the American way. So I need this one. I want blast resistance because I keep getting blown up. So what we're missing? Just some plates. I've got some plates prepared. Thinking about going back to the nether again, I think it's a good idea to get this one done. Cause so any plate will do. So now we should be able to put this into our armor. Oh, I've got my armor on. Where's it gone to? I've got my armor on. Okay, yes. <laughs> we'll put it on the chest plate. Let's see. Ambitious blessed magnetic two. That magnetic two is just great, especially when you're mining. Let's put that on there. Oh, we get red shoulder blades now. Huh? Blast resistance. Oh yes, <laughs> that looks different, doesn't it? I'm not sure this put. I need that on all three of these things. But let's have a look. What else did I want to do? Anything else for specifically I wanted to do in this in this today? See what we could do. Let's go back and have a look at that machines. I wonder if they've got a plate banger. Let's go back to machines, processing machines. It'll be the hydraulic press, won't it? So now this has got 14 iron grate machine blocks, seven support columns, two copper coils, one stripping machine block, strip machine block, and corrugated. Okay, I think I need to go and do some more mining before we start to go and do this one. And it's a 3x5x3. By by That's 5 high. Okay, 3x3x5 three by three by and 5 high. That's not too bad. One of the reasons I want to move base... I'll tell you what. What time of year is it? I think it's summer time, isn't it? Um, it's late spring. If I'm going to go to the new base, we're going to have to go now, or where I want to put the new base. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to, this is the rucksack I've got ready for the new base. So let's pick it up. Oh, is there anything in here I want? I don't, so we'll need a boat. I'll show you that. I'll take the bow and arrow. What I'd like to get some more chickens. Um, and something else I wanted to do on two buckets of water because two buckets of water gives you an infinite water supply and I don't need these let's just put these away if I've got space I haven't got space for that one I'll take these torches though that was useful and I'm not so sure about dirt we can get rid of oh the band-aids we'll keep with us and I think we'll keep the lever with us as well you never know no I don't need the lever do I can I put the lever? Not in there. Books. Oh yes, got books. In this is a library. Just break. Just used to axe and chop some books. Bookshelf down. Got some books. That was quite good. And I think that will do. Oh, I don't need this either. 
Don't need the books. I'll keep the flint and steel, I'll keep the bandage. I'll keep the scoop. That'll do for now. So let's go and have a look at the new base. I won't show you the whole way, I'll just take you part of the way. But we can actually go from here. So let's put the boat down. And get in it. And you see it pushes you oops. Oh, it would help if I actually got in the boat, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's going the right direction anyway. If I got it takes me a few seconds to get my fingers in the right place for this thing. I didn't actually pick up the water when I was doing that, did I? But as you see, we will actually come out by the sea. Oh, there's a boat. <laughs> What's that doing there? I'll tell you what. Let's just get out and get that. Let's just get out and get that boat. Yeah. Oh, right. Cow's taking my boat. <laughs> well done, cow. Oh, two cows are taking my boat. Very good. <laughs> hmm. They can stay there. <laughs> There's ice still in there, of course. We actually have to go around through this little passageway here. We've got, still got some ice. Actually, got still got quite a lot of ice around here. Even though it's summertime, which is quite good. And there's a new base over there. So 1,000 blocks. But we can actually get quite a long way towards that. But it's time to have an actual quick sleep because it's night time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's just get out here. I'll actually be cold, won't I? I'll tell you what, I'll see you when I'm getting there. See you in a minute. Well, we're not so far away now, as you can see. I always hit this village as I'm coming in, and I'll probably find about three boats already there. <laughs> We can tie the boats together. Because what I would like is some sheep, not sheep, sheep, them chickens. Yes, there's a couple of boats already here, parked here from previous visits. But I'll take this one with us. Good. Now, what is my temperature? I actually don't know. Nice little pool of lava as we come past it. In fact, I think this is Osis Tega, isn't it? So this will be a cold pine, which is good for summer. Some sheep. Far away, it's only two hundred sixty blocks from from the from that village. What have we got here? Tea light samples. There's a lot of tea light in here. So if you shift right click this, oh look at the map. Oh, so look. You see it's now marked that on the map. In fact, look, there's a lot of it. There's one, two. There's two down there, weren't there? Three, four, five. Five or six samples there, isn't there? Oops, nice freeze there. Now let's move direction, it's just over 321. Obviously I have to be a little bit careful while I'm going down this. It's three blocks down, it hurts. That's just two blocks, that's no big deal. But we need to cross this river, we'll do that now. I think we need to go through, I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you. Brown sheep. Oh, maybe that was a mistake. What have we got here? Sort sorted quartz, I think. I think. Yeah, it might be easy if I <laughs> it might be easy if I do this. 
get the axe out. Rake's good. Sorted quartz. Sorted quartz samples. I might have already discovered those as it happens. Oh, that's too much of a big jump. But here it isn't. And this, I think, takes us towards the new base anyway. And it's, it's just, I haven't done this before, but it looks it looks like it's quite fun. <laughs> now there's not much in the new base, but as you can see, I've set up some cactus and so they should be fully grown. But because I've not been here, things don't um, take a long do they? There's no, they just stay constant. So here we go. So here we've got not yet another rucksack. Um, let me put this one down. Cause are, this is all the plants in here, and this one it's got bits and pieces in it, and including a few winter drones. You'll see why in a second. Th I think they won't be flying now. No, they're not. Look, we've got an ignoble wintry princess, and we've got some more drones. Before I go and do those, let me just get the ones in here as out as well. So this one gave us six a cone, a six cones. And again, this is also ignoble stock. But I suspect they're the same bees anyway, so let's put that under there. And get out of their wake so they can work. And I can probably put this away as well, I can, good. So here, as you can see, now we're in planes. And I put down a few trees here. This is a jungle woods, a jungle tree got some that walnut trees growing here yes permison I think that's how it's pronounced nutmegs walnuts and gooseberries I'm not quite sure why gooseberries grow on trees in Minecraft but they seem to do and here I've got some vegetables all set up a little bit of wheat here I've got a tank with some um, purified water in it hopefully that will work because what I've been finding is this I take take a water out of here I'll do it in fact and you right click it yeah that's what I'm having a problem with this should have plenty of water in it let's just break this off oh it's empty <laughs> should that, has that evaporated okay because I'm sure that was a full tank of water and I've only placed down one block but so I'm, I think I am having problems with that maybe I've done it wrong now water is always good to take with us in two buckets in the summer if you get in, into trouble and it gets hot we just make a, an infinite water source now here let's have a look I've discovered the base lapis times two let's turn that on it's not very far away and I think it's just over here yeah that's the mine and here's the mine now it's not very much it's not polluted so much this mine and the reason it's not polluted so much is because um we're not here or not been here very much and here we find out what's this here this is tea light so there's a lot of tin here as you can see i've only done a little bit of it i mined across down here i can't remember what was here in fact I think I might have been lighting up the tunnels, I'm not 100% sure. But there's a skeleton, I can hear him. See, so let's put an F7 and we can see. Yeah. I don't think I've explored down here so much. So we go back there. It's, I know it's the other direction from the tea light anyway, so. So I had quite a lot of fun doing this one, I can tell you that for, for nothing. See that's down there, isn't it? Nope. So that's the way up, back up there. Oh 
Oh yes, this was the way. Um, can I see any mobs around here? It's difficult to say actually, but yes, there's quite a few normally around here. Let's go and increase the, uh, just press the plus button on here. And you can see roughly where we are. So here I should find some lapis. Which I've been using the, um, the Silk Touch pickaxe for to actually mine this up. And put the Zuli and, in fact, I might as well mine some of this up now while I'm here. It won't be very big. Ooh, that's a bit risky. <laughs> Fortunately, we've got magnetic. With magnetic, things get pulled towards you without them falling on the ground, which is great. So there's no risk of these blocks falling down into that great big cavern below us. I think that's the case. Didn't check, actually. Let's move that one out of the way and make sure we are picking it up. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's better. <laughs> I didn't hear the click. Right. So as you can see, I think I got uh, attacked once or twice down here. Thank you. <laughs> Seems to get stuck underneath it. And I don't want to spend too much time doing this. So that'll do for now. I can't reach anywhere down below there light things up and I don't really want to go down there at the moment. The one thing I should be doing is looking at doing um making a glider. And I think up here I found some quartz. But I'm not hundred percent sure whether I just blocked off this area here. I know I think I just blocked it off. That's some wolf and might we'll take that while we're here actually, if I can reach it that is. Yes I can, good. There's enough mobs around here to keep me quiet so to speak. Normally what I do is put those two like that and get the torches between. And you can put a torch up there like that and that'll illuminate that area and hopefully prevent mobs from spawning. But there is some quartz down here. But I can't remember exactly where it was. Might be up here. Oh, there's a creeper. And you can't get to me. The best you can do is fall down there. Yep, yeah, take a bit of damage. I don't think he can find his way up again. He might be able to, but we'll get out of there now. I'm sure I've got some. I'm sure there's something else down here. Found three things down here. I can't find it at the moment. Anyway, tea lights there, and there's a lot of it. So what I'm going to do between episodes, oh, is it night time already? All right, look, if it's night time, we'll just have a little, we'll be safe. Do back three. Okay, and sleeping bag. Do it three higher, then you don't hit your head. And drop another heart. So what I'm going to do is put back some cobblestone in there so I don't have to light it up. Basically I want to minimise the lighting of things. Like that. And there's not enough more space for things to spawn. I'm just checking around. 
And what I should do is put a fence behind here as well to make sure that any mobs that don't appear from behind. So here we have jungle. Now of course it's coming into summer and jungle is hot. Uh, let's put the tempempo on. See at the moment we're in biome plus two. So 17 is hot. When we get to jungle, it's going to be plus seven, I think. What do we got now? Jungle edge. I know jungle. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe we're still in springtime. That was a pig. Biome temperature plus three. And this is a very, very big jungle. So what, as you can see on the map, let's have a look at the map. You see we're here, oh, the jungle is huge. And there are some bees and things around here, which I wouldn't mind getting hold of. Oh, there's a creeper. I saw him. Let's get out of his way. That's two of them. Nasty things. <laughs> Oi, and a skeleton shooting at me. Gah. In fact, they should burn up. If I'm lucky, I'll get that skeleton. I'm going to get that skeleton anyway. Actually, I've got my bow with me, haven't I? Fortunately, creepers don't burn up. Where's he gone to? There he is. Did he drop anything nice? I've only got one arrow, you see. It's not enough. Oh, he dropped his bow that time. Okay. But it's not enchanted. Shame. This was, this was the tea light samples here that we, we've discovered below us. So I can pick those up now, actually. Four. Five. I think there's more, actually. There's a turkey. Turkeys might be good. Let's take a turkey with us. Like that. Huh? How come that was pollution block from killing a turkey? That's not what I expected. <laughs> we got to hear more tea light, huh? So this is quite a large chunk of tea light in this particular area here. Oh yes, let's look. Some more. I don't know how big this one is, but it's as you can see it's when do we pick up nine so that means it's a very big chunk of tea light so my idea is I'm going to build into this this cliff face here the base and I think I'm just going to build it straight in here and make a big cave and I'm going to use I'm going to light it with um, immersive engineering stuff so the next episode we're going to start doing some immersive engineering I might as well take some of these over here mightn't we at least we eat oh I can't eat anything I'm I can fall I see I've got two feathers which is good can I do I want to get rid of something I'll get rid of the dirt no I don't need this bow toy it's useless bow we can eat these Oh, oh, I shot my last, that shot my last arrow. Great, that's an avocado, let's take a gooseberry. Of course I can't eat that. Took that away again. Oh, I must have picked up the other fruit, wherever it was, the avocado here. I doesn't want to get rid of that thing. But my arrow's over here, I should be able to pick it up. Oh no, can't. Was that the one from the um, skeleton? So what we'll do now is we'll take back this backpack. And we'll get rid of... I want to plant these at some stage. We'll eat this, we'll eat this avocado. 
Nothing else there to eat. Chestnuts. I didn't make a chestnut sapling, I don't think. What have we got? A maple sapling and a pear sapling and a plum sapling. Got a second sleeping bag in here. I'll leave this one. I'll put this one in here so we don't take it with us. We'll take this backpack instead. Right. I shall see you when I get back to base. Well, I'm just on my way back and I discovered this one. Bauxite and gold. I go, oh, let's get rid of that. I don't need that there, do we? Let's get that out of the way. Oh, strange. So if we just mark click that, so I've definitely got two gold in this area. Three. Which means it's going to be a reasonable four. Which means it's going to be a fairly good deposit of gold here. So let's just mark that down as times four. So I've marked one point. So just go, oops, control Z. You see, I've actually been marking a few as I've been going down here. It's probably quite a long way away now. But I, I, anything with sample on it will show you. Do you like sample times four? Coal sample six, luminite five, luminite seven. So I did find quite a few ones. So this, what did I say? Was this five? Was it four? Definitely four safe. Are there only books over here? Well, there's a good source of drink. I've been having a bit of difficulty. I ran out. I didn't. Oh, we got here one. Books like aluminium, of course. Two, three, four, five. Okay, it's night time. Let's just. Mark that one as times five. Of course these actually all get shown up in, in green. So let's just sleep a bit. Oh, is it not night time yet? 10.30 is the time. At, yep, time. No, it's 10.30. Well, it used to be 4.00, 10.30 I think. Let's be careful not to leave that behind. I'm sure I have them once. What have we got here? Hermite. Another iron. I mean, we normally get about two or three in this block. Let's just mark these down here. I think there's usually two. This chunk, one, two. Yeah. So. I'll see you when I'm back at base again. Well, I'm back again. And I wish you all the best, because I've run out of time again. Anyway, till next time. Next time we're going to be doing some uh, immersive engineering, and I shall make some more solar. I need to go and find some galena and get some more galena going again. So until then, bye for now.